In this video, we're going to take a look at creating an integration with Twitter and automating the sending of a tweet through any business process. So to start with, we need to define the Twitter account to which we want to send the tweet from. So to do that, we need to come in under System of Security and KeySafe uh, and configure the authentication for the Twitter account. Picking the Twitter option and giving the key safe a name, we can then go ahead and create the key. Once the key is created, we then need to go ahead and create the authentication. Here we now will specify the Twitter account we want the tweet to be sent from. Passing in the credentials. Now we have the key safe configured, we can go to our business process and decide where we want to add the sending of the particular tweet. So in this case, we're going to go to our business processes and we're going to have a look at our desktop incident process. And we're going to make a decision to use our integration call. So here we're going to break the line and use the integration call option. Configuring the integration call, we're going to choose the Hornbill integration bridge and we're going to specify the Twitter method and we're going to choose the actual operation that we want to invoke. So there are various options that we could have chosen here, but in this case, we're simply going to post a tweet. In doing so, our credentials have been preloaded with the required Twitter account and authentication that we define in the key safe. And then we can go ahead and we can define any input parameters. So in this occasion, we just really want to define the message which we want to be tweeted. So I'm going to here, I'm just going to put major instant as some defined text, but I'm also going to combine it with some variables from uh, the request which this process is running against. And I'm going to use my variable picker here, and I'm going to select both the request ID to include in the tweet, as well as the summary information from the request of which this process is running against using a uh, request get information node ahead of this particular integration call. So on here, I'm going to include the summary information and I'm going to inject that in. So that's at that point, that's all I need to configure within the integration call. But one additional node I may optionally choose to add here is actually the ability to write back the URL for the tweet which we're going to send onto the timeline or say a custom field for the request which it's sent against. So here I'm going to invoke uh, an automated task and I'm going to put here simply post to timeline and I'm going to choose entity requests update request and on this occasion timeline. Now looking again at the configurations option here I need to define what update text I want to appear on that timeline. So I'm going to manually set that and I'm going to come into the designer here and I'm going to go ahead and use my variable picker and I'm going to use the output parameters from the Twitter or integration call that I've just made uh, and I'm going to select to include the URL from there. With that in mind we then come back up, we join up the, the nodes I then go ahead, uh, save and validate this process uh, and publish this as the uh, version of the process that I want to use. We then come back in and we look now to raise a request using that process. And we're going to raise new and we're going to use a character Steve against the desktop support service for which this business process is running. And we're going to put here uh, users unable to access email uh, affecting multiple users. We're going to raise this as an incident. We can categorize if required. I'm going to prioritize this as major. 
Then we could select any associated assets, sites, etc., depending on what you've configured in your progressive capture. And then we'll go ahead and we'll have a look at that particular request. So viewing incident 363, here we can see that the process is invoked. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take ownership of this. I can see that I'm online. I'm going to assign that to myself. Now in doing so, we can see some of the automated actions that already occurred. Email has been sent, been assigned to a team. The priority has been set. Uh, and now that's then going to go ahead and invoke all of the various actions that were defined in my business process, including the option to send a tweet uh, from Twitter. And we can see here the URL for that particular tweet has now been posted back to the timeline of this request. And if we click on that, we can now see the message we sent via Twitter, including the uh, default text, the variable of the request, and also the summary of the request that this has been logged against. Thanks for watching.